Welcome back everyone. Skateboarding has now blossomed into an American pastime, including right here in the desert southwest. I bring you more in this special report that you'll only find here on 13 on your side. You know, it, in the beginning, skateboarding was more of a street culture thing, but it's transformed, you know, into a, a American pastime, really. Quietly, Yuma has grown a skating community spanning all ages, from kids to adults. Adults like Nicholas Meza, who's been skating locally since the 90s. Being someone who's seen the community grow locally firsthand, he's seen plenty of change. Before the park was built, we had a... Um, we would just roll around old, if anybody remembers the old downtown area with the circle stage. They had a big bank in front of Lutz Casino. We used to spend a lot of time down there. The Park Mesa is talking about is here, Kennedy Skate Park, which has been around for over 20 years. While still a nice option for local skaters, its age has started to show. Drainage, some of the sandy, like uh, there's a sprinkler busted over here, so it's just throwing rocks and sand all over the concrete. And those aren't even among the most dangerous issues. The cracks, some of the concrete is separating, and so the cracks are a lot bigger than they should be, just enough, just big enough to get your wheel stuck. <laughs> However, with the sport's evolution has come public support, as the city will be completely renovating the park within the next few years. The skate park itself was really identified uh, out of the skaters. Uh, they came to the city identified the need, and then we started looking into the project. As the park is still being designed, skaters from across the community have been offering input on what features should be added. It's, it's been awesome. The turnout has been great, and the feedback has been even better. So truly what we're going to end up with is a skate, skating park that's designed for the skaters by the skaters. And just how much financial support is the city offering for these skaters? For this particular project, uh, the rough estimate for the budget is $2.5 million. The Parks and Rec Department says the money is coming from the federal government, specifically money from the American Rescue Plan Act. And because that's a grant, it's coming at no cost to local taxpayers. Regardless, skaters like Mesa are proud to see the investment. It's actually been really nice. In the past, it's been kind of hard to get the proper attention on what we needed, and so it's really um, encouraging to see the city wanting to be more involved in what's happening. As for now, the park is still being used in its old form. And even without the renovations, the community is what still makes it special. That, that's one of the best things about skateboarding is it's personal, like you have to work on your own thing, but then there's a community of supporting your uniqueness and whatever you're doing. Is Packing in for skaters is having more skate shops. Mesa says hopefully the new park will create more of those skate shops and, of course, more skaters.